Hi, I'm Blair Jones here. Today I want to introduce something new among our software. For those who have been using Nexopulse and Gascrew till now know that it's a way difficult to have a good receipt, either on the pulse or on the kitchen using Gascrew. We know that sometimes the receipt wasn't clear and the internet connection wasn't stable enough for Gascrew. And that's where Nexoprint Server comes in. Well, today you're going to learn about Nexoprint Server and how it can help you to work more faster. Okay, that's all for the introduction. Let's get started. How is built Nexoprint Server? Nexoprint is available as a Windows application. It has been built using Electron, Angular 5, plus some Node.js dependencies. It has been tested with Windows 10 and according to Electron, it might be working with Windows 7. Obviously, Windows 8 is included. How to install Nexo Print Server? Okay, let's dive on the installation. It's pretty easy. Just launch the installer, wait for the installation, and you're done. That's all. Okay, now let's dive on the configuration. I will open the application. And now I'll log in with Nexo platform. You must have at least a valid Nexo Pulse push code. It's actually a license. And you might need it to validate your license on Nexo Pulse. On the video description, you will see a link to how to validate a license on Nexo Pulse. I assume you have a valid license. Now let's grant the access to Nexo platform licenses. Okay. Unfortunately, we have a small weird behavior here. You don't have to worry about that because actually after the authorization, nothing happens. To proceed, you need to click on authenticate again and close the window. That will update the state of the application. The issue is being fixed, so don't worry about that. Okay? Now, you can see the process button. This button takes you to the dashboard where you can start a server. Depending on your system, you might see an authorization request for, from window. Since Nextoprint server run a server behind the scene, it's required to grant this access so that your installation of Nexo POS and Gascrow can use your printers. Okay, now that we are set, let's configure Nexo POS. The last update of Nexo POS, which is 3.12.6, has a small change over the checkout configuration. There is a new option which lets you decide which getaway should be used for printing. You have the choice with normal printing or Nexoprint server. Let's choose Nexoprint server. Now, we must define a URL to access to Nexoprint server. By default, the URL is HTTP localhost and the port is 3236. Okay, let me set that and save the settings. Normally, we should be able to see the printers within the Choose a Printer option. If it's not the case, please let us know. Now, let's choose a printer and save the setting. Okay, let me move to the post and try to place an order. Let me choose any item and proceed to the payment. Okay, so full payment. Okay, let's wait the receipt. Here is that. Awesome. Here's the reset. Okay. In comparison with what we had in the past with Nexo POS, you can see that the reset is more clear, more acceptable, the printing process more faster, and you don't have to deal with the browser print pop-up which was appearing after each cell. Okay, before finishing this tutorial, I would like to give some notes about Nexo Print Server. You can configure the receipt like you use it to do using custom tags. Your printer should have 80 mm inch, just like Epson GM20 series. We are currently proceeding to future tests and you will see an update of Nexopos which offer more configuration of your printer. Well, that's basically all about Nexoprint Server and Nexopos. We will see how to use Nexoprint Server with Gascrow in the next tutorial. Thank you.